Hello again my friends, I thought I'd give you a quick update of my Crota's end raid progress. So far, me and my raid team have reached the section where Crota himself spawns, and as you can see, the spawn animation is pretty damn cool, but we've yet to figure out how to actually damage this colossal green bastard. I'll post another video when we finally beat him. Now, so far I've received two loot drops from the raid, both consisting of Radiant Shards, which will be used to upgrade Crota's end raid armor. Now, my fellow raid teammate Martin from Destiny Overwatch had better luck than me. He managed to bag himself two pieces of Crota's end raid gear, which he's actually wearing now. And as you can see, they look pretty spiky and have the same kind of brownish gold uh, coloration to them as the Vault of Glass raid gear. So let's have a look at these in more detail. This... Uh, this is the Will Breaker's Fist Legendary Gauntlets. He got this from the uh, Crota Zen Raid. Uh, its description reads, take what is yours. Now, if we have a look at its perks, it's got the Special Weapon Loader, increases the reload speed of all special weapons, um, increases melee attack speed, and its unique perk is the Hive Striker. Killing a hive with a critical hit has a chance to spawn an Orb of Light. Uh, and also, he also got the Will Breaker's Resolve Legendary Chest Armor, from the Crota Zen Raid. Let's have a look at this in more detail. Its description reads, their blades break against your heart. Now, the perks for this are increases the amount of scout rifle ammunition you can carry, um, increases the amount of sniper rifle ammunition you can carry, and its unique perk is moment of speed. Gain a temporary increase to reload speed while Oversoul's gaze is active. Now, another thing that's cool about these particular pieces of raid gear is that they'll allow you to reach the light cap, the new light cap of level 32. Now, the maximum defense for the gauntlets are 366, whereas the um, Vault of Glass gauntlets are only 329. And the same thing applies to the chest armor. This will allow you to in increase your light, your defense to 488, whereas the Vault of Glass. A chest armor is only 439, so already he's got two pieces that will once once fully upgraded will enable him to reach light level 32. So these are really useful pieces of uh, gear to have, and he's really lucky to have already got two pieces um, from Crota's End Raid. So I thought you'd be interested to see that. Now let's move on to my other teammate who also received two pieces of Crota's End uh, Legendary Raid gear. Now, this is my fellow teammate Biowolf, and as you can see, he's a hunter, and he's also got two pieces of Crota's End raid gear. The first of which is Dogged Cage, which are the legendary gauntlets that you can get in the Crota's End raid. The perks are increases the reload speed of all special weapons, uh, increases the melee attack speed, and its unique perk is the killing a hive with a critical hit has a chance to spawn an orb of light, which is pretty cool. And he's also got the legendary leg armor. Let's have a look at this in more detail. They're, they're called Tyler Striders. The description reads, if there is no road, then it cannot be long. The unique perks are increases the amount of heavy weapon ammunition you can carry, um, gain a temporary increase to agility while carrying the sword of a hive sword bearer. And also, it's got a cool aesthetic little thing there. You've got the, um, as you can see, you've got like a hive dagger. And also, another cool thing to note is that the Vault of Glass leg armor is only 293 defense, while the um, Crota's end leg armor is 325, which means obviously, again, if you upgrade, fully upgrade your Crota's end raid gear, it will allow you to reach the level 32 light cap. So I thought that would be interesting for you guys to see what I got, what random loot drops I got, what random loot drops my raid teammates got. Let me know what random loot drops you guys have got in the description box below. And now we're going to move on to a weird little glitch that I found in the Crota Zen raid. So let's have a look at it. So it seems as though anyone wearing a cloak in this particular spot will experience an odd glitch where the cloth starts to do insane things. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Like I said before, I'll keep you updated with all my dark below progress so stay tuned you'll find links to martin and biowolf's youtube channels in the description box below thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe for daily destiny content and thanks for watching you beautiful bastards and as always until next time guardians